PDN News Updates. Here is Bradley Bartonico from our PDN Newsroom. This is brought to you by our sponsor, KFC Guam. Southern High School has failed its health inspection, and school officials will have to correct all the violations before the school can get a sanitary permit needed to reopen, according to a report issued by the Department of Public Health and Social Services on Thursday. The Southern campus earned 57 demerits, equating to a D grade, following a three-day inspection that started on August 20, public health reports state. Public health rules state more than 41 demerits is a failing grade. GDOE spokesperson Tez reyes Burrier said Thursday that the campus is still on track to meet the school district's target of reopening on or before September 30. She said another inspection is likely early next week, and work at the school is close to done. Southern High School had not seen the same level of volunteer support that the other schools have, reyes Burrier noted. The Santa Rita Sumai campus, which had more than 1,000 students last school year, is the only Guam Department of Education high school still waiting for a sanitary permit required to open as of this week. Southern is also the only GOB school so far to fail a health inspection following the state of emergency declared for the district on August 7. In other news, Superior Court of Guam Judge Eliza Ariarte dismissed the claims of eight students with special needs against Education Superintendent Eric Swanson and the Guam Education Board. But claims brought forward by two other plaintiffs in the jointly filed lawsuit will still proceed to trial, Ariarte ordered. Parents of two special needs students in the Guam Department of Education filed a lawsuit in August 2023 on the heels of Typhoon Mawar and public controversy about poor conditions at local schools. The lawsuit asked the court to order GDOE to fix alleged unsafe and unsanitary conditions at Algoda Johnson Middle School and Ocean View Middle School. It also alleged other failures to comply with that every child is entitled to an adequate public education act, like alleged failures to provide a certified teacher for one of the students. Taxpayers making payments to the government of Guam will again pay for the credit card convenience fee starting October 1st, more than four years since Governor Lulian Guerrero decided to start waiving the fee as the pandemic was just starting and later on used more than $31 million in Federal American Rescue Plan Act funding to absorb the cost. The availability of the ARP funding will soon end. No local funding has so far been made available for GovGuam to continue to absorb the cost in fiscal 2025. This means taxpayers will only have until September 30, the last day of fiscal 2024, to make tax and non-tax related payments to GovGuam without incurring processing or convenience fees when they use their Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express credit cards, and other PIN-based debit cards. Since April 2020, a month after the COVID-19 pandemic was declared, Adelope started waiving the credit card convenience fees that consumers would otherwise pay every single time they use their credit card to pay taxes and other charges to GovGuam, as well as other payments for the use of GovGuam services. On Thursday, the Department of Administration said the amount of the credit card convenience fee that will be charged to taxpayers will depend on the amount of their payment, but is expected to be between 1.5% and 3% of the payment total. In other news, Guam now has one case of the highly contagious whooping cough called Bordadella Pertussis, the Department of Public Health and Social Services said on Thursday. Public Health said it received a laboratory-confirmed Pertussis report on September 11 and has initiated an epidemiologic case investigation and contact tracing to determine the source of the exposure. Pertussis, commonly known as whooping cough, is a vaccine-preventable disease, Public Health said. The department is encouraging the public to ensure they are up to date with their vaccines. For more on these stories, go to guampdn.com and follow us on social media.